liquid rubber DIY. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to waterproof a retaining wall. Step one is applying the geo fabric. Making sure you get all the crinkles out so it's all lays nice and flat. We're only laying this other 300mm geo in as the bottom layer of the Besser brick mortar had holes and cracks everywhere. Show you a little uh, secret to putting a geo fabric around a pipe. So I've cut the geo pre-made piece, slider over the top. As you can see the little bits around the side. Now we're gonna grab our waterproof sealant. Make sure you get it right the way around. Slide that over. This is all stage one, or we call it detailing. Followed by two to three coats over the next day. Double layer geo. Geo 150 in the wall floor join. Always do the wall floor join. Half of the 150 being onto the footing and the rest of the Half of the 150-75 mils going up the wall. Hi, liquor rubber DIY. Stage two. We're gonna spray the wall and back roll it. So this is first coat and uh, with back rolling it works it into all the little holes. Back roll it once and then the final coat, second coat, will be uh, sprayed just off the gun and left. If you don't have a spray gun you can uh, easily roll two coats. On the first coat we like to go up and down, on the second coat with the roller we go sideways, left to right. You can see the roller lines, that's what you're looking for. This is uh, applying the rapid cure spray just from a weed sprayer. A little demonstration of what the rapid cure spray does. As you can see, my hand is clean. If I touch the wall, it comes off. Clean hand. Touch the wall, it doesn't come off. You don't have to use the rapid cure spray, it actually, you can do a coat per day. Some jobs we need to get in and out in one day, so if you do the wall floor join with the Geo, give it a light coat of uh, rapid cure spray. An hour later, you can spray the whole wall and then after lunch you can spray another coat and the rapid cure spray followed by that rapid cure spray run down the wall so you don't want to touch your brush back on that until all of the water is evaporated or dry if you do touch your brush on it it'll just go hard and you have to throw your brush in the bin and grab a new one Okay, this is to show what we're looking for after the first coat. We're looking for these sort of things. Sort of like that little suspicious area. There'll be this piece here. That's gonna go over there. When it's all flat, you don't want crinkles like that. Okay, patched. 
they're gonna show you how to do second coat applied by the spray gun. A nice smooth finish. Starts chocolate brown, and once it's cured, it'll be gloss black. So this is two coats. Um, we can go three coats, four coats, five coats. Just keep building it up to as thick as you want, but we recommend um, two liters per square meter. And you end up with about a 1.5 mil dry film thickness. Now we've got the commercial rapid cure sprayer today. If it does rain, um, this will, it won't wash down the drain. It'll, it'll be cured within seconds. So it'll turn from brown to black over the next hour and it's all done ready for core flu 72 hours later or a protection board installed here's a dried piece of the liquid rubber diy waterproof sealant just to show you how much it actually stretches it's 1800 percent elongation so as you can see that piece 